Plastic is more prevalent than ever, but Amy Maselli doesn't own a single card. I don't have one because I see the effect it has on my business. I'm giving them all of the sale if I give them cash. If I pay by credit card, I know personally how much paperwork it is, how long I wait for the money, how many fees are involved, and I just, I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. Amy and her husband Kevin own Chow for now, a small coffee and catering shop in New York City. Credit cards, they say, seriously cut into their business. U.S. cross-border fee yeah. or international service fee. All the mileage cards. We've got adjustments, we've got interchange, we've got service, we've got transfer fees, sales transfer fees. Adjustments, third-party transactions. We've got debit mid-qual trans fee, debit non-qual trans fee. You know, that's $2,300 a month just to take credit cards. So do consumers have a clue? How much the credit card is charging the store itself? Yeah. No, I have no idea. I do not. Maybe 2% of whatever I purchase. 2%? Maybe like 3%, between 3 to 5%, I would say. It's around 4% 4, 4 for our MasterCard and Visa, and Amex seems to be around 5%. Amy and Kevin's problem, they can't accept debit cards, which have lower fees because their equipment is old. They also do a lot of small ticket transactions. But wasn't credit card legislation supposed to fix this problem? Every time we use a piece of plastic to pay for something as a debit card, there's a charge imposed on the retailer. In the Dodd-Frank financial reform law, the Durbin Amendment, named for the senator from Illinois, capped fees at 21 cents plus 0.05 percent of the transaction, but only for debit cards, not for credit cards. When MasterCard and Visa raised the interchange fee closer to that cap on some transactions, businesses with lots of small tickets ended up paying more. Starbucks, which has mostly small ticket transactions, says it supported the legislation, but that since implemented, the money it pays on debit card transaction fees has gone up. The cap has helped business at Home Depot, where the average sale is over $54. The company says it lowered prices on thousands of products since the cap took effect in October. I want to feel the effect. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Have we felt? No, because we're paying thousands of dollars a month. 8.71 bargain. MasterCard and Visa recently agreed to settle an antitrust case in which they will reduce their fees by 0.1% for eight months. If the settlement becomes final, retailers will also be able to impose a surcharge on customers who pay by credit card. That is, if it's even legal in their state to do so. I think some of this cost needs to be passed on to consumers because... I don't think the way that it's set up currently is functioning. But that might not sit well with customers. I think retailers should be paying that. I don't think the consumer should be paying that. It should be on the business. We should share the responsibility. Businesses could simply stop taking plastic, yes. but... A lot of us don't carry a lot of cash. Cash, just like the old cassettes are a thing of the past. So many people pay with credit cards, and I don't think we could compete in the neighborhood for business if we didn't take them. For CNN Money... I'm Jordan Malter.